We are trying our best to keep the house as warm as possible. Oh my god. So things have taken a turn for the good. Right, Marie? Yeah! <laughs> So here's my update, it's the next morning. This is out my front door. My tree lost a pretty major limb last night, probably from the weight of the snow. I just measured the snow again, and we have minimum of 23 inches now. It's probably more than that in some parts, but our power went out last night. It probably around like eight o'clock, and Dan's just been having a fire going since then, and we've been doing okay. Um, we're doing fine. It's we're, we're debating on whether or not we should stay here. Personally, I would rather stay here because there's two feet of snow outside and I don't want to dig through it. I feel like it's just going to be more trouble than it's worth, no. especially since we can't warm Turn back down. up. Like, I can't really go outside now because if I go outside and I come back in, it's going to be really hard for me to warm back up because there's no heat. I'm just, we just have our little fire. So it's probably not very smart to dig through two feet of snow and risk, you know, of like getting sick or not being able to get out and coming back in and being freezing. So I don't really know, but if time goes by enough that we run out of fuel, like run out of firewood that we can burn, then we're not gonna have any other choice. That's kind of what we're looking at right now. We have plenty of food, plenty of water. Dan is worried that our pipes are gonna freeze. So that is, that is a concern. But I think that as long as, Okay, can you just chill for a minute? As long as our power comes back on within a day or so, I think we'll be okay because the snow is actually melting and as it's falling, like it's still snowing out, but uh, the snow is melting. You can see it on the window. You can see the lines of water and this was all icicles yesterday and it, their icicles are all gone. And then um, the footprints out on the deck are melt like melted looking um, where Dan was standing. <coughs> Excuse me, cold still happening. The footprints that Dan left on the deck are melted, like they're uh, slushy, slushy footprints. So that tells me that it's just cold enough to snow, but warm enough that snow is starting to melt, if that makes sense. I don't know, it, the weather was wrong, because it shouldn't really be snowing now. It was supposed to stop at seven. It's around seven, but it doesn't look like it's stopping at all. I'll try to show you guys. Okay, yeah, you can see. It's clearly snowing, like full on snowing. It doesn't look like it's gonna stop anytime soon. The sky is white, so there's no sunshine really. Just snow. So we'll give you guys a peek. I can't really go outside anymore, but that's as far as I can reach. Ugh. There's my big branch. <laughs> driveway. So I got this icicle up here that's uh, hanging out. <laughs> you can see my orchard is like getting some more and more snowed in. It's pretty crazy. The roof of my shed looks pretty gnarly, like so much snow up there. Oh, I hear Luna. I better get inside. What happened? Yeah, they're just really snotty, so they're trying to change it. Him. Him. He's just worried about her. Our backyard. So much snow reached the top of our deck, or the top of our railing, I should say. I can't even imagine trying to go down those stairs right now. <laughs> you 
you can see this week's set. It's full of snow. There's where the footprints are kind of slushy looking. Or they were not like that yesterday. Since we're trying to conserve heat, we are trying to insulate our house what? a little better by hanging curtains because the sunroom, the sunroom is not sealed. It's just window. It's like a room full of windows, and the windows are not fully sealed. We've tried sealing them with caulking, but there's still air escaping in there. It's very cold in there. It's probably 20 degrees colder in there than it is in the house. So we have a towel down over this door because the store has cracks and there's air escaping, cold air coming in through here. I'm gonna hang up the curtains that we had up there before over the door to try to help insulate it a little better. There's also um, air coming through here. So I put a towel down on the floor so I can at least insulate that. There's not much I can do about this. But, um, they have this here to help prevent that air from escaping. I also have every single door in the hallway shut at all times. Um, all the bedroom doors because Mom, the hot air is just going to go in there and there's no be, point. Mom. What? You're going to bang the bugs. Bugs? bugs. So we are trying our best to keep the house as warm as possible with the fire. Snake. In the middle, go tell me. There's a snake in the middle. Tell me on snake. You want to see? Let it be. Let it be. Ah! Oh my goodness. So now we we got that up. At least snake. that should help a little bit. Bun take a milk. That branch. Getting close to touching the snow. You covered him up, Rory. I called work to see how they were doing because I'm the main caregiver in the household and I'm the one that gets their food and everything like that. So I made sure that they had enough food and was able to find out from them that in town it's raining. So that's kind of interesting that it's snowing very hard here still. Let's see, what time is it? It's 10 a.m. And still snowing. It's supposed to stop snowing at 7. It's raining in town. Let me ask Dan. 
So, Dan, you walked down to the end of the driveway. What'd you see? The mud just now. Yeah. Neither street has been plowed. I'm Spider-Man. Don't. Rory does not understand that when you don't have power, you don't have internet. And these are the two things that he has downloaded on his tablet. They go Marvel and one episode of PJ Masks. So those are the two things he has to watch. And he's not accepting that. No way! Yucky! You have to he's wait. Surprise egg. You have to wait until the power comes back. You're lucky that you have a fully, like, well, 70% charged tablet at all. You're lucky. No way. Yeah. This is my egg. When I was your age and the power was out, I had to play hide and seek and oogie boogie. And oogie boogie jack? I had to play it in real life because there no. was no tablet. There was no TV. There was no nothing. It was just dark. Just dark. So I had to use my imagination and play games. update let's see it's 11 30 it's finally almost stopped snowing it's still snowing it, it's not even a drizzle it's just a light snowfall that's coming down it's also warm enough that the snow is starting to melt so it's kind of interesting that it's snowing but also the snow is melting at the same time just like i mentioned before also dan has been plowing over there by the truck i just measured again the maximum height that we have here is 26 inches, 22 to 26, um, average of 24, um, Rory's crying. What? So anyway, I'll show you the truck. Dan got the truck out, it's still covered in snow, but it's better than it was before. But you can see the snow just kind of falling off the trees and... Some of it's falling off the house. But I just saw a little birdie jumping around in the snow, so I'm gonna try to throw some seeds out, I think. Not sure where to do it, maybe in the back? I've been seeing birds looking for food or something, so I feel so bad, like I should Maybe put some seeds out. Anyway, Rory is upset. <laughs> hey. I came to see. Since the birds can't eat right now, I decided to give them some of my extra whey protein that I don't need. You mean bird seeds? Bird seeds that I don't need. Yep, it says right there. <laughs> so they have a little sanctuary there to eat. Oh my god. It's nuts. Yeah. So you're gonna put aluminum siding up? Yeah. Or whatever you call that stuff? This was getting old anyways, so. You shoveled that? <clears throat> yeah. Look at it. I don't have shoes on. Oh. Here, take the camera over there.
hanging out with me because he won't take a nap. He did it! So things have taken a turn for the good. Right, Rory? Yeah! <laughs> the snow has started to melt. It stopped raining and the power just came back on. So I am so happy that... So happy that... We have power again because it was getting challenging just to function. We rely on it so much. Um, we actually did okay with our fire. We've been able to keep it going for um, almost a full day because... Okay, chill, chill, chill. It's like uh, 3 o'clock now and the power went out at 8 last night, which was when we started the, the fire. So. 8, 8 p.m. to 3 p.m. That's pretty good. I've even been doing a large chunk of the um, the tending to it. Dan is still trying to dig the truck out, but there's a tree branch. I don't know if you can see. I'm sorry I'm not getting my boots on and getting out there, but it's just so cold. Anyway, he's been digging it, digging the truck out. There's a tree branch that fell. It looks like a very sizable tree branch, so he needs to move it so he can um, get the truck out. Dan's been scattering bird seeds, so there's some, there, he put some around there. This is where he dug out all of that. Look at that mountain of snow, it's a lot. I mean, there's easily a foot, more than a foot here just from last night. It's crazy. And this thing just blows me away, this icicle. Mom, I've never seen an icicle that big. It, Mom. Okay, we'll go in. Okay, bring it inside. So now that we have power, I turned to the dryer Mom. on because we had a load of clothes that were there. washed but Mom. needed to be dried from last night. So I've actually been using my iPod. I have my Anker charger, portable charger. It charges like two charges for a phone. I charged my phone to halfway last night and then I've been charging my iPod. I charged my iPod so that I would at least have some form of entertainment for Rory, Luna, and myself. While Dan's been outside, he's been kind of in, in and out, um, but I also put up my lights that they light up accordingly to sound. So when they hear sound, they light up. So they're kind of cool. Um, these are from Christmas time, but I put them back up. Just yeah. to give us a little more homey feel while the power is out. It's just a bummer because oh, no. Rory doesn't understand what power outage means. Luna is just kind of like, whatever. And then of course we're getting bored, more bored by the minute, just trying to entertain ourselves. I've been just editing photos on my phone or I did a little bit of photo editing on my laptop last night because my laptop was halfway charged when the power went out. So it still has some life to it because um, I haven't even been able to pick it back up. I've just been taking care of babies nonstop. So Luna's finally napping. She took a nap this morning, but then Rory was a big handful and I was doing the Legos with him to entertain him. And then she woke up in the middle of that. So, but now she's asleep again. She actually just passed out. She passed out on the floor. Okay. Do you need to rattle that? Oh, bummer, the power went out again. That's a bummer. I Well, I, the heater came on for a minute. I ran the water, oh, it came back on, okay. Came back on. Came back. It went back out, ah, bummer. Dang it, the heater came on though. It was heating the house up a little bit. I even sang hallelujah, because I was so excited about it. I opened the garage too. Dan can close it manually. I was gonna, man, bummer. I won't tell him yet, I'll wait. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back on before he comes back in. Ah, come on, PSE, turn our power back on. Well, I guess I should start thinking about dinner because it's three o'clock, so. Um, I just ate some sandwiches. I didn't even eat breakfast. I just ate some of the sandwiches from Marie's birthday party that we were supposed to be able to give the guests, but now we're just stuck eating them all. Isn't that fun? Well, I will give you guys another update when something else changes, but I could show you the back deck right now where the snow is kind of melting. 
So it's starting to melt. I threw bird seeds right there to see if we could attract any birds. And then it's starting to melt. That actually fell in and uh, the tree, that little baby tree that I had fell down. I'm going to have to pick it up later, but um, yep, it's coming down. It's starting to melt. That was covered and now it's not covered anymore. And then my tree, of course, has no more snow on it. This thing was really weighed down with snow, but it's gone. And then the trees out there, out by the creek, are all pretty bare now when they were covered in snow earlier. It feels pretty warm out, like it's like 40 degrees out, so um, the snow is well on its way to melting. Enough, I think, that we can at least get out of here tomorrow morning. So Wednesday is normally, um, let me get over by the fire. Wednesday is normally dance day to watch the kids in the morning and then I go to work in the morning and come home in the evening and watch them. We just, we swap. Don't step on Luna, don't step on Luna. Uh, but he hasn't been to work in two days. I haven't been to work in two days. So we're both just gonna work my hours, which is seven to three. We're just gonna go to work together. We're gonna drop the kids off. My mom lives, on, my mom lives five miles away from me here. And so we're just gonna drop them off there because she agreed already to watch them. And uh, then off at three, Dad's gonna pick me up and we're gonna come back up and pick the babies up again and come back home. So that's the plan, but I think I'm actually gonna tonight get some overnight bags packed or maybe one big suitcase packed for all of us to have overnight in case if we're stuck in town and we have to stay in a hotel or something or stay at my mom's. I don't wanna be stuck somewhere and not have all the essentials that I need. So I know for sure that I 100% do not wanna leave my kids overnight somewhere. I wanna have my kids with me. So that's a factor for me, like a deal breaker for me. Um, I'm at least gonna try to get back to them at the end of the day, but I'm feeling like it's probably gonna be fine and I won't have to worry, but you never know. Uh, I heard today that one of my coworkers, her husband was driving her to work and he dropped her off and then when he went to go to his workplace, uh, he got stuck and had to walk the rest of the way to work, so who knows. But that was today, tomorrow's gonna be better. So I'm, gonna, I have, I'm trying to think optimistically that it's gonna be fine, so.